it's Nerdy Doll Girl again here. Thank you very much for tuning in to my much or long awaited uh, Doll North haul video. I apologize for it taking so long as my last video had mentioned. We're going through a really, really challenging time right now as a family. So some of the stuff that um, kind of has been going on has made it so that I had to push this video for a bit. Just mentally, I couldn't, I just couldn't. <laughs> so I was able to get everything that I got together. Yes, I got enough that I had to like find it all, put it all together because I kind of just dropped everything when I came back from Doll North and then I would be like playing with something and then I wouldn't put it back, you know. So I gathered everything together so that I could show you guys uh, Doll North this year was amazing, as always. Uh, amazing people, amazing staff. It was just a really great year, as it usually always is. Um, it was a little different this year because my son came with us. Sorry, one second. <coughs> I did bring a cup of water. It's the My Little Pony Cup. I actually got that at the dollar store. Anyways, so we were, we normally don't bring my son because he's seven and he has autism and ADHD. So it is very challenging for him to go. Um, there's crowds of people. It tends to be very noisy. Uh... And it's, he's just not really into anime and that sort of stuff. So, but he did an amazing job and I'm super, super proud of him. And he actually got a Link, uh, sword. We play Link, um, we play Link, we play Zelda. Um, and so he's been playing it. So he really wanted a Link sword and Tammy's son, Travis, uh, also came and he was dressed up. As Link so it was really fun it was just a really fun time so yeah I wanted to show you guys the stuff that I bought and the stuff that I won so before we begin with that I wanted to show you guys my entry for the Doll North masquerade so I did not win but I I had a lot of fun making this outfit and it was inspired well, let's see if you can guess what it was inspired by. So, it was inspired by a gumball machine. And I actually had a little gumball machine and I forgot it. Hopefully you guys don't mind. Um, but I dressed Ziggy in this awesome outfit. So it's like red silkish pants, or shorts. And then a little top and then I made the... Well, I made the whole thing, but I made the little gumball machine with the little uh, fuzz balls. And then I sculpted this 25 cents, um, I don't know what you would call it, but the thing that the, ball, the, the gumballs come out. And then I added this cute little charm. That's a little gumball machine that I got at Michael's. And then the boots are the ones that I bought at one of the doll meetups that I was super excited because they look like Jarrus boots and so I thought with the black and the red and everything it really went well together. I also made the wig. It's all the little puff balls in the different colors. So yeah, it was really fun to make. Even though I didn't win, I really enjoyed it. There was just so many amazing uh, entries this year. And then I made a little kind of card to describe what I made and everything. And then little puff balls. So yeah, it was a lot of fun. I didn't win, but like I said, that's okay. I am going to be showing off the picture of what I did for the entry for the photo contest. I don't have it with me because again, I left it somewhere. <laughs> I might, hopefully I didn't leave it at Doll North. But I'm going to show you one that is the same shot. It's just a little disc discolored, so I didn't use it. 
and I will post the original on my Instagram. So if you do want to see the original, please go over to the Instagram and check it out. And there's other stuff on there too. So by the way, this is not work safe. So for just a second, I will show you, but yeah, it's not work safe. So once again, it was Ziggy. So I made him <laughs> have like a very risque picture but I thought it was it was pretty cool so what I did was I actually got the candy and I wanted to get them I wanted to do it at the store but they wouldn't let me for some reason I was just gonna use lying them on the the glass part of the case that the candy was in but they wouldn't let me so I bought a bunch of the candy and I kind of put it on a white piece of fabric inside of my photo cube and then I took the picture and I strategically placed the candy so that he could be more modest. <laughs> so yeah, that was fun too. Again, I didn't win, but it was a lot of fun. The other contest that I entered, I tried to enter as many as I could. Again, I didn't win, but I'm actually really proud of myself because apparently the, the stuff that I was using was not the, the right stuff. I guess um, what I was using was pastel, uh, like fine grated pastel paint. But I guess you only use that for like highlights and all sorts of stuff. You're not supposed to actually use it to make eyebrows and lips and all that sort of stuff. I wasn't told that <laughs> until uh, everything was over, but that's okay. I was kind of wondering like how come everyone else has done such an amazing job and is so fast it was, I think he only had 90 minutes and I barely got mine done and then when they told me that I'm like okay so that's why I couldn't do it very well well that's my excuse anyways so I took my doll family H head that I got off of uh, I think I got it uh, either off of eBay or in a Taobao order. I think it was a Taobao order. And then I painted it like a vampire. So this is my <laughs> this is my horrible head that I painted. And it's pretty much my first ever face up. And so I, I think I did okay, especially with the rock paint. And so it was fun. But there were so many other amazing face ups and very creative face ups. So... I think it was very hard to judge for the judges so I did get some more paint and I am going to try and practice doing face-ups but I don't know if I will ever be very good at it or if I'm going how long I'm going to attempt to do it but yeah it was it was fun so let us get to the purchases so I'm gonna leave my biggest purchase to the very end I have to admit, I spent more money than I thought I would, but I did actually borrow money from my husband, well, the family, uh, put it on the credit card, <laughs> but I've paid it all off, so it's all good. So let's start. So the first thing I want to show you guys is I finally got poor... <sighs> Lazarus some boots because he has the weirdest size feet and it was just very very challenging to find any shoes or boots that would fit him because he's just got a little bit longer size uh, foot so like the standard SD shoes didn't seem to fit him so it's kind of like what am I supposed to do and poor Tammy bought 70 centimeter shoes and they were way too big. So he's just a weird odd size. So if anyone has figured out what size he is, because they said these were SD, but they seemed bigger. So if anyone knows what I should be looking for, um, I would really appreciate being told. But for now, I will show you what I found. So it's kind of actually hilarious because they're very similar to Ziggy's. So, they're really cool, like, biker boots. Sorry, my phone keeps 
going off. I will turn that down. Oh, I don't think I showed you guys. I got a new phone case from Wish. And as you can see, it has David Bowie on it, as well as many other 1980s inspired uh, movies. Well, not inspired, but <laughs> many 80s movies on there. Um, I love, if you guys know anything about me, I love 80s movies. So I thought this case was perfect for my phone. Now I gotta turn down my phone. Sorry, technical difficulties. Okay, this is hard to do with holding a doll. Anyways, I'll just put it over there for now. So if it's beeping, I'm sorry. So I did get these boots for him. And this is one of the wigs that I purchased at Doll North. I love the whole look of him. He's got the amazing, amazing vest from Kohaku Creations on, as well as some awesome, like, punk rock pants that I got at one of the doll meets. I just love them. They're all ripped and torn, and it's just awesome. So, yeah, so that's what I got for... Lazarus. I'm going to put him up here for now so that he's kind of out of the way. Such a big boy. His legs are super long. Okay, he's a little tilted. All right. So that was what I got for Lazarus. I also was able to get some more fur wigs. Now, this lady who does the fur wigs, she usually comes every year to Doll North. Unfortunately, she is going out of business, so she was selling her wigs for a very good price. But it kind of disappointed me because I kind of look forward to seeing her every year and getting her wigs because they're just super high quality, yet she charges a very reasonable price for them. So I got the green one, and I got this purple, like, I don't know, wavy one. And... A yellow one and then like more of a, a dirty blonde colored one I don't remember if I bought this there or if it was one I already had but if I did I already have it here it is again <laughs> and a blue one so really fun colors I also got a light brown one that Ashia is modeling here and he is also modeling a pair of shorts that I got and I got them from someone who was selling some of her unwanted stuff and I got them for like a super amazing deal I think I got them for like five or ten dollars and I just love them they're like board shorts with little pockets and just really neat and then the other thing that we did at Doll North that you could sign up for was, I think it's called Pico, Pico Dragon. And when you signed up, you were able to get the dragon and details on how to make the dragon. And it was only $20 Canadian. So I was super excited because I was able to sign up uh, the day that it came out or the next day. And it sold out within 40, between 30 and 45 minutes after I signed up. So I was really happy I got in. And Tammy, I signed her up too. So I want to show you guys. This is my little dragon. Uh, like I said, I've never really done face-ups, but I thought I did an okay job. So this is my little dragon. And I did sort of like... Sorry. I did sort of like... a Sort of like Bollywood theme for her. And then she's got little gold horns. Little gold nails and details there's the back so that was a lot of fun and they were also selling some more sets that you could more dragons you could buy so I bought a pink version 
and I bought a white version, but they didn't, uh, they don't have a box for it because it's a special edition one. So it just shares the pink box and you could only get the white version at events. So I haven't opened them and I haven't made them and I'm still not sure if I will because even though I love her and she's very cute, I'm not sure if I want to have more than one just because I'm more into like the larger size dolls and stuff. So, but it was a lot of fun and it was a really fun project. And then when I went to the swap, I was able to get some really amazing items. And the one item that I did get, my friend actually made for me. She had um, saved it until she would see me at Doll North. And it's a cute little pink sweater with kitty cats on it. And it says, mm, cat, I think it is, or maybe it's Tom Cat. Crazy Cat. Okay. So, yeah, it's really cute. I can't wait to put it on one of my dollies. And she was also selling this little sweater that she knit herself. I love the colors and the shape of the knit. It just reminds me so much of Mermaid Tail. And like you guys know, I love mermaids. And then another friend gave me this amazing sweater that will fit my boys. I haven't tried it on yet. I definitely have to. It's like I said, been crazy busy. My friend also gave me this. This is like, it looks like cotton candy. It was actually used for some of the free photo shoot sets you could try at Doll North. So you could bring your doll and set them up in the photo area. And they had various props and stuff. And this was supposed to be like clouds. And so I was like, oh my goodness, like I love it. It is so cool looking. Where do I get this stuff? And my friend actually said that this is made from taking cotton balls and like pulling them apart and then adding different colored dyes to it. Excuse me. So I'm like, cool, I should try that. And she's like, well, here you go. And I'm like, yay. So I definitely still want to try it, but it was very nice to just get a bag of it already. And then, so I have so much stuff. So this video might be very long. <laughs> I found at the same seller that I got the board shorts, she had these awesome like pinkish Pur uh, pinkish purple pinkish orange pants I really wanted to find some cool stuff that would work for my boys because I've been obsessed with my boys and I think again I think this was five bucks I really love when you find deals and I found these weird overalls at someone else's uh, little table and it was also five dollars I love $5 sales, but they're just cool. It's like little monster faces. So Ziggy, I've had them on Ziggy and they look adorable. And when, when and if I get my doll and mine dolls, I'm going to try them on them. So just, they're so bright and funky. I love them. Now I'm going, oh. I also got some eyes. They actually were free. I know, free. Anything that's doll related and it's free, I mean, man alive. That is so awesome. So I got a green pair. I'm like, are you sh sure? You sh sure it's okay if I take these? And I'm like, oh yeah, they're free. I got some clear ones. And I got some, oh, yeah, they're like a brownish gray color. I also got some free buttons. One says Angel Toast. And then I think this is also Angel Toast. Yeah, it's a little 
picture of one of her dolls she's painted. And I love them because they're super tiny. You could put them on some of the dolls. And then I also won for entering the runway, uh, the runway, fashion runway, I think. <laughs> my brain's not working. Doll edition. Uh, if you haven't seen my video, please check that out. I actually won third prize for my creation, which was so exciting and shocking. And so I actually won um, these cute little pair of purple shoes. And Miss Evelyn has worn them. They're so cute. I think they're, oh, they're Code Noir shoes. Nice, cute purple color. But this is what I freaked out about the most. So my mom was in the Navy when, um, before I was born. She actually served in Pennsylvania um, during the Vietnam War. She was a nurse. And so when I got this outfit, I, I cried because it reminded me of her. So it's a cute little mini skirt with belt. And then the little coat jacket, the little ropes on the side, and the little hat. So I, it says fashion, but it just really reminded me of like a little navy outfit. And I think it's going to be super adorable. So hopefully when my doll and mine outfit, uh, outfit, my doll and mine dolls come, I'll be able to put them in one, in this outfit. So I'm super excited. And I found this really cool contraption from uh, Lutz. One of the ladies that was selling had this and I like scooped it up right away. So it's a little like hook thing that you can pull the um, hooks out of your dolls, like pull it up so it's easier because I always have a hard time taking like Ziggy's head off, but more so my uh, Lazarus head off. It's such a pain in the butt. <laughs> Whereas this is just super easy. You just pull up, like twist, and it's awesome. And this was $15, I think, 12 or 15. When you go insane trying to take their heads off, $15 is more than reasonable in my opinion. Okay, so we're getting down to the, the like big stuff. So I actually got to go to the Anime North side for a little bit I think it was like an hour and a half with Tammy and her son and when we were there I actually was looking for something because my friend she had shown me this adorable little snake furry snake thing and I was like oh my goodness like where did you find this because it's perfect for a little pet for the dolls and she said that they were actually selling them at the anime north side and they're called the company I think is called Worms and Bone. Um, I will t put the link down below of their Instagram so you can see all of their amazing creations and I will also put their um, page up for you. So the first thing that I bought was this cute and colorful little snake. They I they make them all by hand. They t They cast the heads and they paint them. So I just love it. I think it's so cute and they have all different sizes and they can twist around and just they're so adorable. You can get um, up to like a giant dragon. They just have so many cool animals but the bigger they are the more expensive they cost. So I got this little girl. And she's the perfect size for, for dolls. So you can use her for like MSDs all the way up. Or if you want a bigger little pet for your small tinies, then they also work. And then I had to get this guy, even though he was bigger and a little bit more expensive. I had to get him because he was so cool. His 
isn't he amazing? He's like a wolf dragon. And he's got a little tail. It's so cool. And you can actually put it around your neck if you want. And kind of have your little pet here. Or you can have it for one of your dolls. But I just loved it. It was so cool. And so I really wanted to get more. But the first day that I walked into the Doll North Doll um, Market, I... <sighs> I've never had this happen before in my whole time that I've been collecting dolls. And so when I walked in, I just instantly fell in love and I had to purchase this doll no matter what the cost, which is kind of crazy, but <laughs> I had to buy him. Now I'm looking here and I realize I did forget two items. So I'm going to show you the guys that I know I'm drawing this out. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, three items. I forgot to show you guys this cute little pin. This is from last year. It was like fairy tale. So this is Belle with the flowers and then a book. And then this was this year's. It says, give me candy. And my dear friend Ariel actually redesigned the colors to make them pop. So I love them. What I want to do is put all of my pins from Doll North every year on my little lanyard and just have a, a cute little collection. So the two things I did forget, I traded uh, Ariel some of my doll clothes so that I could get this beautiful top. I'm not sure who made it, but it's very well done. It's very summery. And then this adorable little hat came I think from England uh, a toy company was there that had like vintage Barbies and stuff from like the 80s and the 90s and they were selling these little hats that came from Britain they especially ordered them and so I picked the purple one and it's got multicolored mane and this cute little heart on the back just like um, it kind of reminded me of Raggedy Ann's little heart on her chest so just so super cute I love it I love like the fantasy stuff and cutesy stuff and it's super well made okay back to the main reason that I am in that I was in debt <laughs> so like I said I walked into the doll north doll room saw him standing there I sound like Tiffany from the 80s I saw him standing there, there. Anyways, uh, and I absolutely fell in love and I had to buy him. And yeah, I went into debt for him, but it was love at first sight. So I'll show you him. You guys might know the artist. You might. It's actually from Angel Toast and he is her original sculpt. And he came with a whole outfit, but I couldn't afford him and the outfit. I would just have gone into way much, too much debt. So I had to choose between getting him and, and to come with a little bit of the outfit or to get the full doll. And I just could not afford the full, the full doll. So you guys ready? Here he is. Isn't he gorgeous beyond words? I think she called him either Crow or Raven. And if you look on her Instagram, you will actually be able to see pictures of him with his brother, who I think he was like the Dark Lord and he was the Light Lord. And so when I walked into the, the Doll North uh, doll market he just his eyes and, and my eyes met and I had to have him so he came with this long gorgeous black wig and these amazing horns that are magnetic you can actually take them off and he's got 
beautiful sculpted elf ears. And his eyes and face are just unbelievable. I've always wanted one of her face-ups. And to be able to get a face-up and her own sculpt was absolutely incredible. So he's wearing another part, um, another outfit that I got from the same lady that I got the board shorts from. So this cute little, like, I don't know what you call it, the kind of top. And then some jeans. And I think he's on an April Story body. So she makes the heads, but the, she doesn't have a body that she made. So she just has his head on an April Story body. But he is gorgeous. I don't know what to call him yet. I want to have something like mystical and magical. And someday I do want to get him like a magical like sorcerer outfit or something. I'm still trying to figure out his character. So I'm putting him in front of my face. I'm still trying to figure out his character. But uh, he's just glorious. He's so perfect. The one thing I must say, I love the hands on the body, the April Story body. But I hate the body. I hate it. Um, I don't know if it's just me, but he's kind of weirdly slouched back. And he does, he is a bit floppy. I did get him restrung, but he's still floppy, so I'm not sure why that is. Um, but yeah, he's so beautiful. He fits my. Uh, SD clothes perfectly he better than poor Lazarus um, but yeah I this is him I don't know what to call him guys so if you guys have some ideas let me know please don't be offended if I don't pick your name because I'm super picky uh, I thought about giving him a Bowie type name but I don't know if it suits him and so the only name I have that I could use is Bowie because I have to admit I did sell my Bowie. I feel really bad because he was what inspired me to love boy dolls but I just wasn't playing with them and I just really felt like I wanted to reshell him. I still don't know which doll I'm going to reshell him in but yeah so this is my boy. So yeah that was my door, door nerf. Doll North Hall. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Yes, I got spoiled. <laughs> I spent way too much money, but it was an amazing time and I cannot wait for next year. And I hope that you guys, um, if you're watching and you're interested in Doll North or Anime North, that you will try and get there because I would love to see you guys and meet you guys. I actually was able to meet three or four of my followers and it was an incredible experience for me. I am so humbled by all of you guys that were there, that met me, that um, hung out with me and even just came up and said, I really love your channel. It just really made me feel special and I hope that you guys felt special when I met you guys. I hope you guys felt like you know, that I made you feel like you made me feel because you guys are incredible. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and it, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you guys so much. And next video, I think the next video, it will depend on when my friend gets home. But I did get to have an amazing trip on last week, I think it was last week, Tammy and I actually got to meet Jess, aka Halloween Heartthrob. I freaked out. I actually got to meet her. She is one of my absolute favorite YouTubers. She is an amazing person and an amazing friend. And I had the amazing privilege, said it again, 
three times. Amazing, amazing, amazing. <laughs> I got the amazing privilege of getting to hang out with her and with Tammy. And so, yeah, it was incredible. So I'm thinking of posting it next week if she's back because Tammy did a video, I did a video, and Jess did a video. So we're trying to sync it up together. There's part one, part two, and part three. So I will give you guys the links down below for Jess's channel and Tammy's channel. So make sure you subscribe to them so that you can see all three parts. Thank you guys so much again for watching and have a very good day. Bye.